In my last video, I went over a UK salary calculator which I made and hosted at Questuli.com, but I didn't really talk about how the salary tax is calculated in the first place. So in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to do and after watching this video, you should be able to get a good understanding of how your taxes are calculated on your salary. Quick note here before we start, I'm not an accountant or tax specialist, but learned these through multiple online sources as I wanted to build the Questioner calculators. So feel free to use the calculator for more features, but consider getting professional help if your tax situation is complicated or you want to verify those results. Right, let's dive into how taxes are calculated on your salary in the UK. The best way I can think of explaining this is by using an analogy. Your salary is taxed at different rates, not a single flat rate. So instead of a flat rate of 30% of what you earn, let's say, you are taxed in steps, also known as tax bands. In England, Wales and Northern Ireland, there are three steps or bands. These rates differ if you're in Scotland, but we'll leave that aside for now. The first band is 0 to 37,700, the second band is 30,701 to 150,000, and the third and last band is anything above 150,000 pounds. Now, each of those bands are taxed at higher rates. This is known as a progressive tax system. That is, the more you earn, the more you're taxed, at least in theory. Reality can be a little different, but anyway, let's stay on topic and leave that debate for another video. So, for the first tax band, income is taxed at 20%, and this is known as the basic rate. Income in the second tax band is taxed at 40%, whereas any income falling in the third tax band is taxed at 45%. A common mistake here is to think that if your total income falls in a band, then that rate applies to all of your income, but that's not true. You're only taxed on the income above the threshold and at the corresponding tax rate. So for example, if you earn £60,000 a year, that puts you in the higher tax bracket of 40%, but that does not mean you have to pay 40% of £60,000. In that case, you would pay 20% tax on the first band of £37,700 and 40% on the amount above the threshold. In this case, that works out to be £7,540 of tax. So that's how you should read the bands and now you know how to calculate your tax. However, in the previous example, I didn't discuss allowances. Allowances are basically an amount which is exempt from tax. Most of us have a personal allowance of £12,570, which means for the first £12,570 of your salary, that's tax free. If you earn less than that, you pay zero tax. This is why you sometimes see the tax band expressed in the following bands. You pay 20% tax rate on any amount between 12,570 and 50,270 pounds. Now, there are other types of allowances specifically for different sources of income. For example, you have a dividend allowance of £2,000, meaning the first £2,000 of your dividend income is tax-free. Side note here, your personal allowance is special in the sense that it can be used against other sources of income, not just your salary. Okay, to recap, the UK tax system has bands and each bands have corresponding rates. Only the income that fall into these bands are taxed accordingly rather than the total income. And finally, you have tax-free allowances to shield part of your income from taxes. Let's work on a couple of examples just to make sure you've really understood this. So let's go back to the example before where someone earns £60,000 a year. How much tax would they pay? So the first tax ban would be 20% of 50270 minus the personal allowance of £12,570. So recall that's the tax-free amount. Now this equates to £7,540 of tax you would be liable for in the first band. Now in the second band, the amount above the threshold, that's 40% of £9,730, which works out to be £3,892. 
So in total, you would have to pay £11,432 in tax. So now you can apply the same principle for any salary level to work out the tax. However, do note that your personal allowance starts to reduce for incomes above £100,000. So for every £2 you earn above £100,000, your personal allowance reduces by £1. That means if you earn £125,140 or more, your personal allowance will be reduced to zero. Let's take an extreme example of 200k salary. You pay 20% on 37k, which is equal to 7.5k of tax. 40% on the second tax ban of the difference, and that works out to be around 45k. And 45% income tax is paid on any income above 150k, which equals to 22.5k. This totals to 75k approximately. Now, you can always check it with my calculator on Questioner.com. So if you go on there, you put on a gross salary of £200,000. And remember to remove the pension contribution here as we haven't included those in our calculation. And you'll get the same results in terms of how much tax you have to pay. Remember though, there are other things to deduct from your salary like your pension or national insurance. That's a topic for another video perhaps. So there you have it, the basics of how to calculate income tax on your salary. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe and see you next time.